everyone. I'm here to share a quick project that I have done um, that I'm pretty happy with and um, I learned some things and I thought I'd share with you and um, yeah, show you what I've done. Um, I took a large three ring binder. It's the kind with a ring on the bottom, which I really like. I call them D rings. Um, you can open it easier and um, yeah, and it's it's got a, a, a three inch spine. It's got that slick kind of um, finish. You can you can see. I have not done the back, but um, like like this. You, you see these kind of books at thrift stores all the time. These um, these binders with uh, pages in them. Um, there's nothing wrong with a the binder themselves. You can reuse them for any project that you want. And I saw on the Rebookery, Rebookery channel um, quite a while ago, uh, Gina had painted, she uses three ring binders all the time, and she had painted one, and I really liked that idea, so I thought I'd give it a try. So um, what I did, I'm going to attempt, I'm not very good at YouTube, but I'm going to give it a try, and I'm going to attempt to put a picture of the original here. Um, I decided to take a before picture when I was already partway through um, uh, the process, so I had already started to mask with uh, washi tape, actually, the outside, the part I didn't want painted. There's no reason you couldn't paint all the way to the end, as far as I'm concerned, but um, this had a white border, which I liked, and a, a little um, zigzag, rickrack border, which I decided to keep as well. So um, what I did was I masked the part I didn't want to paint with, uh, as I said, uh, washi tape. Then I used some um, 220 grit fine sandpaper, and I went over the, the center of the of the um, binder, brushed the excess uh, dust off, wet it, and let it dry a bit. Then I um, painted the inside with uh, gesso, white gesso, and let that dry. Then I used uh, a jelly plate and did um, covered the center with um, paint using my jelly plate. I'm very new at jelly printing. I'm not very good at it. Uh, I would do things differently in the future, including choose different colors. But um, anyway, I I did that. I don't know why you couldn't brush with a um, brush or use any painting technique you like, um, or even uh, spray paint. But um, yeah, I did that. Uh, let that dry. Then I um, used a stencil and um, went over uh, the stencil with um, a texture paste, with, just with my finger, very carefully. Um, and I have uh, letter stencils too, so I did that in the front. Um, let that dry, took off all the um, masking tape, and then I uh, took it outside and I sprayed it with this acrylic sealer matte finish, which is supposed to seal and protect. So I did that on the front yesterday, and then this morning I propped this up between a couple of heavy books and did the same thing on the spine, exactly the same same techniques, and uh, propped it up outside and um, sprayed it again with the uh, matte finish acrylic sealer. So um, that is the project. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I would next time I would use different colors since the um, what I've put in here is um, heritage kind of things. Um, for instance, that is my great uncle in World War One, and I've got pictures, stamps from that era. I've got pictures, um, letters from him to his family, postcards. I've got wonderful ephemera. So what I would do next time is. Um, either use more subtle paints or I might transfer what's inside here now to a new binder if I get another one of these and then um, use this more you know brightly colored um, color
cover for more recent like 50s, 60s, 70s kind of kind of things. So that is my project. I'm pretty excited about it. I learned a lot. I do some things differently, but I'm pretty happy with the way it's come out. So hopefully you will find this useful and thanks very much for joining me. Bye-bye.